My name's Tyson Levitt. Is that right? Well, you can't try it again. My name's Tyson Levitt. And I'm Audie Levitt. And we're the founders of Charmed uh, Playhouses and Charmed Resorts here in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. So before before Charmed, I was actually a nurse, and then we sort of had kids. I was a stay-at-home mom for quite a few years while Tyson owned a landscaping business. And it was really great, but he just couldn't seem to do as many creative things as he wanted to do. I got out of school, I, I was in business school, and I decided to start a business for my business class. And that first business was doing stone masonry. That quickly grew into doing landscaping because someone asked me to do landscaping for him. So then I, I started this landscaping and masonry company that grew really quickly. And while I was doing that, I decided to build a playhouse for a home and garden show just to display like what you could do for a cool backyard that was for kids. and not necessarily just for adults. And that got a lot of interest. So it, it made me start thinking, like I really wanted something that I could scale beyond our small town. I decided, you know, I'm gonna go after this playhouse thing. And I decided to sell my company, launch the playhouse company at the Home and Garden Show the following year. And it blew up and we quickly got a lot of international attention. We were filming a TV show. We were traveling across North America, designing for celebrities and athletes and high net worth individuals. I mean, we were thrown right into it on the TV show, so I learned on the job, and I do have a very distinct style. I've always felt like I've had a distinct style, so it was very easy for me to know what I wanted everything to look like, but it definitely took quite a few years to feel like a little bit more confident in my decorating. We've been building custom playhouses for over six, probably seven years. And in the last year and a half, we decided that we didn't want to just build playhouses for individuals. We wanted a place where all families could come and visit. So we opened Charmed Resort, which is really like our custom playhouses built in a bigger size that families can come and stay and enjoy the same experience. We have nine play cottages at our resort right now. And we decided to build out this resort because we really got tired of putting all this love and interest into our playhouses and shipping away and never seeing them again. And so this way we're able to keep them right here next to us. We can see these creations that our team and, and we put together. And so it's really exciting for us to have them here. When we built playhouses, we were building whatever people wanted. So if they wanted like a space themed playhouse, that's what it was. And I think that was a little bit more challenging because it wasn't necessarily our aesthetic that we were we were building for. We were building for other people's aesthetic. When we opened up the resort and we got to decide everything for ourselves, it was really a great experience because we honed our a very like niche look. And so we zoned into this storybook idea where every cottage in this resort is based on a different storybook character. There's some sort of childhood connection to each of our cottages. Uh, support to our children. Because if we're not excited about it, and if we if it's not bringing out that childhood wonder in us, it it's not going to turn out the same. We a lot of times we'll narrow it down that way, but then we'll take it actually to our social media following, and we'll put it out there and get their opinion. What do you think of this? Or is there something we haven't thought about? And we really do get a lot of feedback from from that following too that have helped create what we do here. It's exciting to actually think about uh, the foyer platform because that's pulling together a lot of great renovation ideas and home building ideas all in one spot where we can see all that inspiration together and work with the community within that to even come up with even better ideas with the experts in those industries. Our kids are part of the process from beginning to end. And so usually what we'll do is, if I'm really up on things, we'll read the original storybook together at night. And then from there, they'll give out their ideas. They'll come and approve. They'll come make sure it's it's like fun enough. And if we need to add something more to it, they'll pick their favorites and... They help us, they get in the way, they do, you know, they, they're, they're with us all the time. And when we're constantly working on our business, you can't help but hear their opinions. Everything is actually completely constructed within our shop. So Ryan will draw the concept art with us and then we'll take it and we'll draft it. We have a draft person who will completely build every stud and every wall and window wherever it's supposed to be. She'll work with 
Audi for the interior design and that'll be put in 3D modeling. And then we'll have blueprints that go to the shop who will then order the materials and manufacture it according to our specs. But it's built in a way that it can be put on a truck and trucked across the country. They're usually, like our cottages will usually come in half a dozen pieces, a dozen pieces, and then we'll bring it here and get a crane and drop them into place and reassemble them in a matter of a couple of days. I always love building for like sports celebs because I'm big into sports, I love sports. We were out for dinner just discussing all these like what would be the craziest person to build for steph curry was in a press conference on the screen at the restaurant and riley curry was sitting on his lap and we like looked up and we were like that is who we need to build a playhouse for and tyson contacted their management who became our management and it just worked out our first season of playhouse masters we featured steph curry and his family and we built them a playhouse yeah it was like 15 minutes i left their house and my phone was on fire because bleacher report was picking it up and the washington post was picking it up and pretty crazy to see how quickly that got picked up and went wild and you know that helped launch our company so you know building that one for steph was like it, it got our company going we couldn't have done our business without social media. I, I think most of our clients have come from social media, probably like 95% of our clients have. Our business's growth and sustainability really has been in large part by our focus on using social media because we could never pay for the publicity that that has created for our company. We currently have nine cottages. We plan on having 17 cottages here at this site and then we'll build a restaurant and storefront. And then after that, we hope to take what we've created here and replicate it across North America. We're Audie and Tyson from Charmed. Follow us on Foyer.